Hi, today I will show you how to change the battery, replace the o-ring, set the time and calibrate the compass after battery replacement in a Sunto Rector watch. You will need a 3 volt lithium battery CR2430. Replacement O-ring or gasket Tool required A coin Which fits Out on this cap Or a suitable object that fits into the battery cover O-ring or gasket silicone grease isopropyl alcohol insert a coin in the slot located on the battery compartment cover It's quite hard to take it out. Press it in and turn it anti clockwise to the open position marked on the back of the case. There we go. Clean the casket and the cap. Clean the area out here using isopropyl or rubbing alcohol. I will put back the old o-ring after applying some silicone grease on the o-ring. The o-ring has expanded. The casket will need replacement. As you can see the o-ring is stretched. I ordered replacement o-rings and the buying link I have shared in the description below. Silicone grease applied to the o-ring. I will be reusing the old battery cap. Place the new cell into the battery compartment, negative side down and positive will be on top. Ensure that the o-ring is in its place to keep the watch waterproof. Place the battery compartment cover back onto the back side of the watch. Now using the coin, turn the case 
clockwise to the close position marked on the back of the case. After the battery replacement do the time setting which I will cover now. Also it is necessary to calibrate the magnetic sensor which is covered in this video after the time adjustment part. To adjust the time you need to press the select button for 2 seconds. And you will have the seconds display blinking. Now if you want to change the seconds upwards you need to press the positive button that is this one out here like so and then if you want to reduce it get the seconds downwards you need to press this button out here the negative button like this once you have finished the second settings you need to press the select button again and then you have the minutes display blinking. Now to change the minutes upwards press the positive button out here like so and you want to get the minutes downwards press this negative button out here like so once you are finished with the minute setting again press the select button and then it goes to the hours the hour display starts to blink same way if you want to change increase the hours press the plus decrease it press the minus once you're done with the hours, press the select button again then you can choose if you want it in the 24 hour format or you can choose the hour format. If you want the 12 hour format or the 24 hour format by pressing the plus button out here. Once done with that, we can again select to change the date. This is the year. The year starts blinking. Press the plus button to increase the year or the minus to decrease the year. Once you are done with the year setting, press it again. That is the select button. There you have the month blinking. Same way you can press the plus to increase and the minus to go backwards. Once done with the month setting again press the select button and you have the day display blinking change it again you need to press the plus like so press the negative button to scroll the date downward once you have selected the desired date press the mode button to accept the changes and return to the main mode select the mode button to scroll to compass like so once you reach out there, press the, twelve, the select button twice so as to have CMP displayed on the display. Now press the select button for 2 seconds and you have the push flashing on the display. Then press the minus button to start calibration. Now as you see 360 degrees appears and the outer circumference displays all the segments slit. When this occurs hold the watch level and start to slowly turn the device around a full circle in a level position. You can turn in any direction the turning does not matter. The lit segments will be turned off as the turning proceeds.
when the full circle is completed the watch will show whether the calibration was successful by displaying the text done if the text fail appears the battery should be removed and put back in before trying to proceed with the calibration process removal of battery will reset the unit once the calibration is successful press the mode button to accept the process and exit the calibration mode that will be all in this video hope this video is of help and thanks for watching